Hi, I'm Jordan from Dumpit Limited. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a workpiece offset using Tool 1 from the recommended tooling package. The next part of this video will be done on the computer showing you how it's done. So now, in VR Millen, we're going to open up the offsets and tooling window again. With the tools now set, we're going to open the work offsets menu at the top. So now we're going to rename the default to the workpiece that we're using. For this video, we're using the vice. Now we're going to go to the machine and use the operation to set the X, Y, and the Z offsets. So now we've set the vice up and changed it to the default. We need to connect to the machine. Once connected, all these all these buttons will load the X, Y, and the Z. First we need to home the machine up. We need to go into the job mode. So once job mode has been selected, we're now going to pick up the keypad so we can stand in front of the machine and jog the machine around. Using the keypad we're going to press number 4 on the left arrow to jog the machine in minus an X. Once we've got far enough past the billet, we're going to bring the, the tool towards us using number 2 or the down arrow. Once you are to the left of the job and close to the job, we're going to page it down. But before we do that, we're going to open the door so the machine runs at half speed. Once the door's open, we're going to use page down or number three to move the spindle of the tool down. Once we are below the top of the job, we need to make sure that the tool flute is at its maximum. Now we're going to move across in the, in the X plus axis using number 6. Once we are somewhere near, we need to go back to the computer and engage it into single step mode. So we're clicking on the one arrow and that makes three arrows. What this means is that you can only do one step at a time using the arrow keypad. And with a little bit of paper, we're going to put the paper in between the job and step it across until the, the tool grabs the paper and we can move the paper no more. So once the tool has grabbed the paper and you can't move the paper no more, we need to go back to the computer. And in the offsets window, we're going to click this blue button next to the x-axis. And what this is doing is this is doing an incremental step to make sure that half the cutter is over the job. So now we have set the X, we need to go back to the computer and engage job again. With the green, the green light shown, we need the one arrow, and then we go back to the machine to start setting the, the Y axis. So we, before we've still got the paper engaged, we need to move, move the tool away in the X using number four. And once it's away, we need to bring it towards us to touch on the front of the job. Once you're clear of the front of the job, you can move cross in X. The same process again of rotating the tool round so you're using the full width of the cutter and then moving it in slowly and then back to the laptop to engage the incremental step mode again with the three arrows. And back to the machine with the paper until, until you can move the paper no more. Now we've completed touching the paper onto the job. We're now into the Y, setting the Y axis using this blue button, and we're using the minus, the, the figure of the radius of the minus button. Okay. Now we're into the job mode to set the Z axis. So back to the machine and move the tool away from the billet. When you're clear, remove the paper and page the tool up so you can touch on top of the job. Once you're clear of the top of the job, you can move it across in Y to get over the top. So we're going to page down on top of, so we're somewhere near, and back to the computer to engage incremental mode again. So we've got the three arrows, and it's the same process again, of setting the tool on top of the job with incremental steps until it engages the paper. Then we're back to the computer, but this time we're touching the date and button of the Z because we want it to be absolute zero on top. 
so now the Zed is at absolute zero. Now we need to engage the job mode again, just so we can come back to the machine and move tool away from the top of the billet. And now that is a work offset set on the Denford router.